In this video, I'm going to take a first look at the FumeClear FC-2001S unit. This unit is used for soldering if when you want to pull the fumes away from whatever you're doing so you don't inhale them. As you can see here, I'm unboxing and showing you the contents and the filters, and now we're going to test it. Okay, now that we've got the fume clear unboxed, let's take a look at what it looks like fully assembled. So they give you this little user manual. But it does give you a lot of information, which is worth reading. And also, this is very helpful to know if you take these filters out, what order the filters go in. The primary is the small filter, medium is the second filter, and premium filter is at the bottom. We'll be looking at those for in a second. And they do give you four extra of those primary filters. There's two in each of these bags. And of course the power supply that you use to plug it in. And if you're curious, this is the Fume Extractor FC2001S. And it says less than 58 dB noise. We'll do our own measurements. And weighs 1.2 kilograms. So it's pretty straightforward. This is just a a fully adjustable hose that can be expanded like that and put to any position you want. And if you're good, it'll just stay. It doesn't move around or whatnot. Um, and it can be collapsed again very easily, like so. So it cannot take up space. This comes out, and then you can take the top off. And then you have your pri primary filter. And then you have these little straps, which is really nice here to pull out the next filter, which is the medium HEPA filter. And there's one more filter in the bottom. And this one's heavy. You can definitely feel it. And it does make a sound. You kind of hear that. So it's got a lot of stuff in. So this is the main filter. And they do say that's the order that it needs to go in. So we'll put it, everything back in together. All right, so of course the big question is, how well does it work when you're soldering? So I'll get the soldering iron, I'll turn it on and we'll do some tests. So we have our soldering iron on the fume clear is plugged in. That's what the flashing green means, but it's not turned on. And we're prepared to do our test. So first thing we're going to do is turn on the fume clear. Okay, that's the green setting, which I believe is the slowest setting. It has two more settings for three total. The next highest setting is this one. That gives you the blue light, and the suction will be higher, and then the red setting, and that is the fastest. That's pretty loud. I will say that that's a lot louder than the blue, and you just press it again and cycle it, and it's back down to the green. So let's try to do some tests and see how it works. So I don't have anything I need to solder right now, but I'll just use a piece of solder and my iron and kind of hold it nearby and let's see how how well it works okay you can kind of see the fumes going in pretty well let's zoom into that a little bit so yeah you can see there's a slow slow and you can see this stream i hope it comes out okay um, even from here it's it's making it into the unit when you get all the way out to here, that's it. It's not going in anymore. If we bump up the speed. Okay, even out to here, it seems to be working. And a faster speed. Oh, that's really good. Yeah. I would probably try to do all my soldering within a few inches because that seems to be the best spot. Plus, for me, I like things quiet, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. But yeah, you can see with that speed out to here, it's not really got enough vacuum to pull it in. But over here, plenty good. 
try that a little more here with some fresh peas. Yeah. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get some dB readings of the different sound levels, but yeah, from here, I would say three inches is good. And if you need to go a little further, you could use the blue setting, which is tolerable, but not as good. I mean, not as quiet. But uh, we'll work a little bit stronger. The red works great. I think you can come all the way out to here. And uh, it still manages to get most of it. Although I'd still stick around there. That seems to be the best spot. And, you know, it's not really a problem because we literally could just take this and set it above whatever we're working on. Um, it takes two hands to set that up. In which case, you know, we could probably be all the way down here and it's all going to go in anyway because it's all sort of headed straight up. Well... Yeah, more or less. For the sound tests, I pretty much held the microphone right around where my ear is, so you can tell the distance would be about two feet from the unit. And then I measured the dB using my iPhone SPL meter app. For the low speed, I got around 58 dB. For the medium speed, around 62 dB. For the high speed, around 65 dB. Well, that wraps up our first look at the Fume Clear. Overall, I really like the unit. It feels pretty solid, the filters seem solid, and it does seem to take the solder fumes away and filter them out. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. And please take a look at one of my other videos here.